Welcome everyone to our new video where we will briefly talk about the email manager add-on of the best WordPress LMS plugin. This add-on will help you to adjust your email messages and make them look good and clear. First of all, open the Pro Add-ons tab and enable the email manager. Click on the gear icon to reach the settings. In order to send emails to your users, do not forget to set up SMTP settings in your website. I will put the links in the video description. In the Email Branding tab of the add-on settings, we will set up the header, footer, and the copyright sections in our emails. Initially, all outgoing emails of the Master Study LMS will be sent using the default email template. Enter the sender name and the email address that the emails are sent from. In the header and footer section, there is an availability to change the logo, header background, footer background, and background color. We recommend following the image sizes in the descriptions. In the copyright section, you can modify the current copyright message in your emails. Additional text box and its icon can be changed from here. Our powerful text editor lets you format your texts better. For instance, you can change the heading size, font weight, text color, and background color. Additionally, you can even add hyperlinks and pictures, set alignment options and list details, or insert a horizontal rule. Use this button to clear formatting. Using this button, there is an availability to write your own HTML code here as well. If you don't want to use the email branding feature of the master study and want to use a custom HTML template with your own header and footer instead, you can turn it off using this toggle. After changing, do not forget to save the settings. This is how our email looks like now. In the next tabs, email templates about instructors, lessons, accounts, enterprises, orders, courses, assignments, and upcoming courses can be modified. In each of these tabs, there are several email templates that will be sent for different purposes. Note that if email branding is on, they will use the template that you have set previously. But when email branding is disabled, you need to write your own HTML template for each of the templates. In our case, we enabled the email branding. So now, let's take the Instructors tab as an example. As I said, this tab consists of several templates. In each template, first, you will see the case when this email will be sent and to who. If you don't want to send an email in this particular case, you can freely turn it off. Subject of the email should be specified here. Next, here comes the field that we need to write our message. When writing the message, we need to use these elements shortcodes. Make sure that you don't change the letters inside of the curly brackets. If you are using your own HTML code, you should use these shortcodes as well in your template. There is an availability to check how this email is going to users by sending a test email to yourself. Well, that concludes our video. I hope this add-on will make sure you send literate, good-looking messages to your users. Do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.